Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and today we are going to be using the indestructible bathtub because, as we all know by now, the bathtub cannot be exploded or destroyed by explosives. So we're going to use this to create an ejector seat from planes, or at least we're going to try to. I just want to see if this works. So the idea is, I'm going to make a plane, and we're and we're going to use the bathtub as the main control seat of the plane so we're basically going to be making a plane that drives the bathtub which is cool enough on its own but we're going to strap some bombs to the uh plane underneath the bathtub in hopes that when we press the eject button we're actually going to be able to explosively eject ourselves out of the plane and um safely crash onto the ground in our indestructible undamageable apparently it walled transversible bathtub <laughs> perfect so there's a couple of tests i need to do first with the bathtub just to see how this is going to work because i want to make sure that the bathtub can separate from the vehicle entirely and that is going to involve knowing how big of a radius these are going to have to destroy the plane around the bathtub and can they destroy blocks on other on the other side of the bathtub basically so now this should destroy the wall in front of it and the wall behind the bathtub, I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, so it looks like the, the bathtub not only is indestructible, but it is also a shield for anything behind it, which makes sense, but sometimes you can't always, can't always rely on Scrap Mechanic to do the most sensical things when it comes to physics. So that means that the explosion needs to have a direct line of sight to any part that the bathtub is attached to in order for it to fully eject out of the plane. So the bathtub fits centered like this. So I'm wondering now if we do this, will it destroy everything that is on the front, back, and sides of the bathtub? All right, let's test this out. All right, it does, that's good news. That is good news. So if we just make our uh, ejector seat like that, that's gonna be the pr pretty much the format of our ejector seat. Then we should be able to completely disconnect the bathtub from every part of the plane, unless we have stuff above the bathtub, which in which case we, we really shouldn't since we're gonna have an ejector seat anyway. All right, so I'm testing out different designs just to make sure that they all work. And um, I tried a two by two design where the bathtub pretty much fits like perfectly on top of it. However, the two by two design made it so that the front and back um, blocks did not get destroyed. So now I'm testing this design because what I want to be able to do is to have them explode symmetrically. Because if we have like a two by three design, then it's going to kind of explode like in a zigzag shape pretty much. But this design will explode evenly from back to right if we start with the back one, which would then probably eject us more forward, but at least straight. So now I'm just testing whether or not it actually explodes all of the blocks. Oh, that's the wrong way though. Oh, that did not destroy all the blocks. All right, so we might have to come up with a system that can explode all of the canisters simultaneously. Otherwise, we're just gonna have an uneven explosion, which might mess up the ejection. And if we're going to explode all the canisters evenly, we need to trigger them all at the same time, which means we're going to have to take up a lot of space with um, some spud guns. Unless this just happens to actually work every single time. So let's try this one. This is our original design. Let's try it one more time. See if all of the blocks get destroyed. And if this works, then I guess this is going to be the best design because it won't matter where we explode it from. All right, let's explode it from this corner. All right. Yeah, it looks like... So it looks like what's happening is the first explosion sends me flying away from the other bombs before they have a chance to explode, which might not happen because if we don't get sent flying out of the plane yet, then the other bombs will have a chance to explode sending us flying out of the plane. So I don't know how this is. I don't really know what the best way to do this is. There's a lot of ways that this could go wrong. But then again, can a lot go wrong when you're really just trying to destroy your entire craft while ejecting from it? I feel like no matter what, that's going to be the end result. It's just what's the most efficient way to do it. So I've actually decided to go with this method here because I'm pretty sure that as long as the bathtub stays in place, it should be fine. You know what? I have the perfect way to test this. Are you guys ready for this? All right, check this out. This bathtub is attached to the ground by bathtubs, but separated from these bathtubs by a single layer of concrete. So now, if these bombs don't completely destroy all these layers of concrete, there's no way that it can detach itself from the ground because it has an indestructible attachment to the ground. 
So this is going to be the ultimate test whether this seat actually does eject us. I'm actually a little bit worried that it'll destroy the concrete, but then it won't. All of the momentum of ejection will be absorbed by the bathtubs before the concrete gets destroyed. That could happen here. So let's see what does happen, though. Wow. That is not actually what I expected. I'm a little bit confused here. Oh, I see now. I think I see now. So we do have an issue where we might not be able to use this size canister. And I think the issue is that when the bathtub is on top, even though this canister looks like it's overhanging here, I think the source of the explosion probably comes from the center of the canister. So then at this angle, it actually gets blocked by the bathtub and it doesn't reach up here. So a potential solution to this is if we just surround the entire bathtub with these and these are actually going to be our attachment points. Probably looks ridiculous, but hey, we're trying to we're trying to accomplish something here. So this right here might be our new ejector seat design. So we're gonna do the same test as we did before. We're gonna surround it with a layer of concrete. It's just getting big though. Like we're gonna have to, this is gonna be a big cockpit for a plane. But we're gonna see if this can completely detach itself from whatever kind of plane that we make. Okay, now this thing is just completely covered in explosives. I'm gonna start with just, uh, I'm gonna explode this one right in front of me and let's just see if we get ejected. Here we go. That was really not the, the result I was expecting. Holy cow. Okay, all right. So apparently explosives aren't quite, like don't quite work the way I was expecting. It really seems like the explosion doesn't really come out in a perfectly like circular radius because that explosion should have reached this bottom one, I thought. Wait, now let's see if we hit the bottom one so the rest explode. Okay, that kind of almost worked, but we still even missed a block. Even though we had, we had an explosive right here, and that explosive exploded and a block still didn't get destroyed. How is that even possible? All right, I think I've come up with the cockpit of all cockpits here. <laughs> it's just completely surrounded by explosives. So now we're going to see if this works. Not what I expected either. It does not explode us up into the air. All right, I've got one final design here. I've put uh, all the big explosive canisters on all four corners here and uh, then attach it to the ground between some regular blocks and bathtubs. So now let's see if this has any hope of ejecting us. Aha! Aha, we have an ejection seat. All right, we've found what I think is probably the best method to guarantee that we'll be completely separated from anything attaching the bathtub to whatever kind of plane we're gonna build. All right, so we have our basic cockpit and now we just gotta build a plane around it. And I think I'm gonna go for a winged plane using the wings mod. And we're gonna see if we can get something that can fly us around in a basic way. And then we're gonna try to eject ourselves out of here. Essentially destroying our plane in the process. Ooh, and look at this, a spud gun fits perfectly in between these uh, explosive things. So if we trigger it from here, let's actually see what direction we get flown into. Test one. All right, so it looks like whatever explodes first, you'll go in the opposite direction because it's the last, it's the uh, other side that explodes last. So we want to get ejected into a forwards direction. That means we want to actually explode the front ones first because these will detach some blocks and then these ones will detach the rest while flinging us forward. All right, let's just test it out. I have it so it should explode instantly now and it should fling us forward and go. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. I think this is gonna work. All right, well, we have our seat. It is time to uh, build our plane. Let's get to it.
welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to introduce you to the explosive bathtub ejector plane of strangeness. Uh, because I don't know why I did this, but I just decided to go for a very non-traditional wing design and wing controls. And uh, surprisingly, very, very surprisingly, it ended up working. However, it's not the easiest thing to control, and it's not the most uh, aerodynamically intelligent design. Uh, but to, to tell you what I did here, basically, um, these wings on the sides here are just your typical lift wings. They they generate lift, and I, I, the reason why I did this is because I didn't, I haven't really looked that deep into the wings mod since it first came out. And when it first came out, it only had the big airfoils and like the, the thin airfoils. All of these shape things are completely new to me. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to experiment with it. And this is what I came up with. So uh, we got your lift in the sides. Just your, your basic lift. These wings don't move. Then we got these wings in the front. And um, I know it's probably not the smartest idea, but I, this is uh, this is your pitch. This single wing is responsible for whoops for all your pitch. So you can see if I, if I use my pitch controls, that actually turns up and down. And uh, that's the hardest part. That's the most inefficient part of this is the pitch. It, it's very, very temperamental, but it works. You can still use it. And then these back wings here on the right and left, these are your roll. And you do that by uh, turning right and left like this, which I think looks pretty cool. And then of course you need a tail fin to keep yourself straight. So then this is the tail fin that I, for some reason I designed and I'm missing some appropriate paint down here. Uh, so then all the controls, that's all the controls that we have. And of course we have the ejection control too. And of course we have like five thrusters stacked in here. You can see that here's all the explosives with the spud guns. We have the thrusters inside. I'm actually going to save this thing again because I just changed the colors. I call it bomb e e eject. Seems like appropriate keywords for this thing. Uh, and then we got some wheels that are just so we can take off. But uh, overall, I spent I spent way more time on designing this thing than I really expected to. I mean, the bathtub portion, like the, the explosives are so bulky and the bathtub is like so bulky that it still is like a box of a cockpit, which um, I was trying to avoid by having all this other detail. But it still looks like a giant bathtub. Like even the cockpit itself just like molds to the bathtub shape. So it still just looks like a big bathtub on wheels. But uh, let's try to fly this thing around. I have not tested... I'm actually really nervous about that now. I have not tested the ejection capabilities, and I actually have a lot of stuff around this tub that I'm afraid won't explode. Hmm. Well, I'm hoping that we'll be able to eject. I'm really afraid now that when we press the eject button, there's just going to be an explosion that destroys most of our craft, but we're still going to be attached to it. And if that's the case, then we'll make whatever necessary adjustments we need to actually get this thing to eject properly. But let's see. Let's see how it flies. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go forward here, and we're taking off. And you can see the nose doing the work there. And look, it works. It actually works. Now, because we have so many aerodynamic blocks on the nose, um, our speed greatly impacts our pitch. Because the faster we're going, the more that our nose wants to uh, catch the air. But as you can see, we have stable flight, relatively speaking. It's not the most stable, but we tend to do big waves in the air as we, like, uh, adjust our pitch. And that's just because I have our pitch control way up on the front. We really should probably have it at the back. But, uh, let's go ahead and I think, I think number nine is my eject button. And let's see what happens once we get level here. All right. And three, two, one, eject! <laughs> our plane is gone. You can see some wings up in the air. There's still some random things that are attached to us, and I don't know why that is, but uh, for the most part, that was a, a successful ejection. Hey, look, there's our starting area. <laughs> and a piece just fell out of the air. So let's try that again and see what kind of consistency or lack thereof we're gonna have with our ejecting. All right, here we go. Back up in the air. Um, Back, back up, up. Dang it. All right, here we go. Back up in the air. We're ready to try this ejector thing again and see how it goes. Let's actually turn around first, though. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't have follow camera on. We are turning around. Look, see, it's totally controllable. Uh-oh. I mean, I meant to do, I'm doing exactly what I'm trying. All my buttons are doing exactly what they're meant to do. All right. And we're gonna eject in three, two, 
One, eject! Oh, that's way different this time. That is way, way different this time. All right, so the whole consistency thing is leaning on the lack thereof side of that, uh, of that test. So I think we need at least one or two more just to see what else happens with this. You know, what happens? You know, this is the age old question. What happens if you eject when you're upside down? That's what we're here to find out in today's episode of Scrap Mechanic with Scrap Man. Answering the important questions in life. All right, this should give us a good takeoff point. Okay, that didn't work as good as I expected, but it still worked and working is all we need. Doesn't have to work great, just has to work. <laughs> Sounds like the Scrap Man motto right there. It doesn't have to work great, it just has to work. Okay, so um, <laughs> should I put that on a t-shirt? That actually sounds like a good motto. <laughs> Let me know if you like that down in the comments. All right, we're gonna we're trying to stay stable here. We're going pretty fast. All right, so we have to go upside down and then eject. Ready? Here we go. All right, upside down. Can we fly upside down, actually? We can totally fly upside down. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, and three, two, one, eject. Ooh, our whole nose stay at stayed attached. That's interesting. You know what we might be able- I might be able to put some smaller explosives around to make it- Oh, look at all the particles! <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed how many there are. That is actually a lot. Wow. I'm impressed. But uh, I might be able to uh, attach some smaller explosives in various places just to guarantee a better- e Look at this! A better ejection? But look at this, it's actually kind of nice. It's a nice little, like, one of those whirly bird things. All right, let's um, delete this. We're just making a mess of this world here, but let's delete this and uh, let's see if we can make the ejection a little bit more explosive, a little bit more dangerous, and a little bit more effective. I like how more danger equals like more effective. There we go, that's gonna be good. So these explosives should totally hit that explosive, and then that explosive should totally hit that explosive, which should totally separate the nose from the front of our craft, which should totally eject us from the craft, right? Let's, uh, let's totally find out. All right, here we go. We just gotta take off before we hit the rock. Okay, that was close. That was pretty close. All right, we'll just, uh, gotta work on turning around here and flipping on over. This thing, like, sometimes I can make it look like it's working great, but it doesn't have to. It just has to work. Okay, testing out the new ejection method. Not really a new method, but just uh, the more explosives. More explosives is the new method here. All right, ejection in three, two, one, eject. Ooh, that did, that was the best one so far. We're totally ejected. That's good. All right, I like that. I like the, I like the way that that one, that one was our best one so far, but then again, it was similar to our first one. So we could have just been luck there, but let's try the upside down ejection again. Cause the upside, whoa, there's a thruster. The upside down ejection uh, was our worst one last time. So let's see if going upside down with these new bombs added uh, gives us any better of a clearance of our vehicle. What I, what I ideally, like what my whole purpose of this was to get the bathtub completely separated from any other blocks. But uh, currently, as you can see, some other blocks keep staying attached to our bathtub. All right, nice takeoff there. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it right now. We're gonna go upside down and hit the eject button. Ooh, that was another good one, but uh, completely different. This time, right on the back of our vehicle, we have, or the back of our bathtub, rather, we have some extra parts there. But hey, this is actually kind of working. I mean, is it really an ejection seat when you destroy your entire plane other than your seat? I really, all I, I, I really just made a self-destructing plane and the seat just happens to survive. This is not an ejection seat at all. This is just, I mean, who am I, who am I kidding? It's just a, this is just a self-destructing plane. All right, here we go, self-destruct. Let's do sideways this time. Self-destruct in three, two, one, go. Ooh, that shot us back. Look, oh, there's one block. A single block survived. Oh man. <laughs> we almost had it that time. So that was on our left side. Now the only thing we haven't tried with our ejection slash self-destruct 
mode here is uh, the right side, facing to the right. I mean, it's a symmetrical craft that shouldn't practically make any difference, or theoretically it shouldn't make any difference, but um, I'm gonna try it anyway, just to see if it works. All right, here we go. We're getting situated, get settled in the air. We're going to the right side. All right, three, two, one, eject! One block again? Are you kidding me? It was a different block that time too. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a perfect uh, self-destruct or eject. I'm like tempted to still call it eject even though I've already realized it's, it's self-destruct. All right, so for the finale of this episode, we're just gonna do one more, see if we can get the perfect ejection. And to me, for some reason, the perfect ejection is destroying any remaining bits and pieces of our plane that are connected to our seat. I just set that criteria with no real reasoning behind it. Uh, pull up from the trees. I mean, this thing flies though, which is impressive enough as it is. So in the comments, let me know what you guys thought of this and if you have any ideas for future episodes. This actually came from you guys. I remember way back in the first bomb episode, you were saying we can make a, an ejection seat better than what we tried before with the spud gun release. I hope I've earned your subscription. If I did, hit that subscribe button. If not, then um, watch some more videos. Maybe they'll help you out. All right, let's eject our thing for the final time in three, two, one, eject! We did it! Successful ejection! <laughs> no blocks attached to our bathtub. That is the perfect way to the end of the episode. I've been Scrapman and I, <laughs> I met us with my outro. I'm Scrapman, not I have been Scrapman. I'm always Scrapman, or am I?